this is Raina with Lilo Crafts coming on today um, to make these sweet little um, antique spoon rosette um, embellishments that you can put on as a card topper, I mean a bag topper, or put on a card or use on a journal pocket, anything that you would like. You could put it on the front, you could put it on a folio. Um, it, it was 100% inspired by this little spoon right here um, on these stickers. So I know this is a little different than my style, but I'm creating some Happy Mail for a couple of my sweet friends who love a more vintage, or shabby chic look. So let's go ahead, jump on it, and make it together. Okay, so let's start with the tool rosette because this is the base. Now I will put a link in the description below to how I make these tool rosettes. They are so easy. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this Distress Oxide, which is vintage photo to distress up my little rosette. And so I've got my little dauber here. Um, and so what I'm doing is, I, you can see, I'm just dabbing a little bit of this vintage photo onto this rosette to make it just look a little bit more aged and not so bright pink, okay? So I think that that looks great. Okay, so we've got that. And then the next thing, let's work on the spoon. Okay, so these spoons I got at the Dollar Tree. This tool comes from the Dollar Tree with the speckles on it. Um, and so these are just appetizer spoons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna age up the spoon. Now, you always wanna start lighter and then work to darker because you can always add more, but you can't take any away. So I'm just using this brown ink pad from Ranger to start with. And so I'm just going to generously put this on here. Now you are gonna have to wait for it to dry just a little bit. Um, so I'm getting it on. You can see that it is toning down this bright silver um, just a bit. Okay, so there we go. Now, if you think that that's good enough, then great. You can uh, stop right there. I want this one to be a little bit darker, so I am going to add some plain old black um, onto this, okay? And especially heavy, more on the edges. So I'm just going to distress this up just a little bit more. Ooh, I like, I'm liking the way that that looks, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue on here and allow that to dry so that it can be raised. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue. So I just want you to see, you can see there's a little bit of hot glue on there. And all I'm going to do is let that sit so that, again, it can be um, raised. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is use some flowers. Now these flowers I got from AliExpress, they are paper, they're not the foam flowers, um, but use whatever you have, or if you have Prima flowers already, or Hobby Lobby flowers, anything that you would like. So what I'm going to do is actually just age these up as well. Now, sometimes the wires just, uh, uh, you can wiggle them off and sometimes you've got to cut them off. So um, either way works, front or as light as you want, but I'm gonna go back to the distressed photo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up some of these petals like this. And then I'm just gonna go in there with my little distressed stress photo ink. And again, you don't have to be too cautious, um, too particular how you do this. It, the whole idea is distress, which is non-perfection. And then I'm gonna kind of curl them back up, just push it back together. Okay, so that's uh, flower number one. And then also, I did not do the outsides of these, so I definitely wanna go back and do the underside because those show, okay? So I'm just gonna do this very same thing with these. And then um, you don't have to make them all exactly the same. Like some, if you wanna do lighter and you wanna do a darker one just for some contrast, you can totally uh, do that. I did that on the first one. I did one that was just a little bit darker. Ooh, there we go. So we've got our flowers. And so now all we have to do is hot glue this stuff together. Okay, so I'm gonna start with our spoon that we have that little bit of hot glue on there. 
Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more right on top so that I can attach it. So I'm gonna put that just like that. Okay, that looks awesome. And then I'm just gonna take one of my flowers, I'm gonna put hot glue on the back. So just like that. And I'm sure you could use other glues. I just think hot glue dries fast and I like that. So that's why I'm using hot glue. Um, but you know, if you got regular glue and you got time for it to dry, then go right ahead. So I'm gonna put this one right on the middle of the spoon, as you can see. So one above and one right there on the middle. I'm gonna add the third one right there. Okay, so that right there. Okay, so that is um, that is my spoon. Now you'll notice on the first one, I have this a little um, embellishment right there because this one has a raised embellishment. And um, if you wanna do that, you can just get anything or you could even make it with um, hot glue and then um, ink over that. I'm gonna try that this time. I've used these beautiful flourish stickers. I just cut off this little flower piece. Um, but if you don't have that and you just have hot glue, let's just try and make a hot glue one. So I'm gonna do one bead, two beads, and a third bead. And I'm gonna come down just a little bit, okay? So I've just got like a little blob on there, kind of, and that looks kind of like that little blob. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm just gonna ink that up, and we'll see how that looks. So, there we go. Okay, well, very good. I think that looks very similar to this. So if you don't have a flourish, you can just make your own design using hot glue. So that's all there is to it. I hope that you will try this out. It's so fun crafting in a different style. I have a couple of friends that like shabby chic and so I'm trying to create some things for them. And so I hope that you will try something different too. Or if you love shabby chic, you know, and have other tips for me, please let me know. I love to learn from people. So thank you so much for stopping by today and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.